Hello, tech fans. Welcome back once again to motherboards.org. I'm Eric Ferris, your host, and today we have another Intel product spotlight video. Now, everybody knows that right around the corner, Windows 8 is about to get released, and there's no time better than now to upgrade to a new SSD for many different reasons. Now, Intel has a new 335 drive that's coming out that's going to be perfect for your needs. Not only will you have faster access times, you'll have faster boot times, longer reliability, and all kinds of other great features. Features. So now let's jump in and see why the new Intel 335 SSD can be perfect for you in your Windows 8 upgrade. First off, you must decide how you want to integrate the SSD into your system. At smaller sizes, Intel's Smart Response technology available on select Intel chipsets allows a portion of the SSD to be quickly integrated as a companion cache to a hard drive. Of course, if you're using a notebook or want the very best performance, boot directly from the SSD as the primary system drive. And that's just the way we do with Intel 335s. Next up, install the SSD into your PC or notebook. For the best desktop performance, use SATA 6 gigabit per second ports if you have them. Once the drive is integrated, it's time to install Windows 8. Desktop upgraders should first decide if they want to dual boot with Windows 7 or start fresh with only Windows 8. I would suggest a clean boot because this is the best way to integrate your system. What you decide will impact the approach to installing Windows 8 on the SSD. Setting up a dual boot system with Windows 8 isn't any different than previous versions of Windows, but the prettier boot manager is much easier to use. Now, once Windows 8 is installed, take some time to optimize your system for the SSD to manage your files and ensure the longest life possible. Windows should automatically detect it is an SSD and do the basics like enable trim support and turn off the Windows defragger. If you still have a mechanical disk installed, think about moving your user directories to the hard drive, freeing up more space for application and related files. Also, you might want to think about disabling other processes that constantly write to the SSD, like indexing. Finally, boot the machine a few times and launch some applications. If you've never used a system with a fast SSD like Intel's 335, prepare to be amazed. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching. If you guys would like a step-by-step -step detailed instruction guide on how to do this, please see the link in the description below and check out our sister site, Channel Pro. Thanks for watching. I'm Ola Ferris. We'll see you here back once again on motherboards.org.